principles that we could attain immortality if we wanted it, to do research on what is aging. I think I talked to you about plaque accumulating in the blood vessels and the nutrients can't get out, so you wrinkle. Not because you're getting old, because the body is unable. The cells multiply for a certain period of time, then they stop. We have to find out what that stop mechanism is. That is immortality possible? Yes. But I don't think people would be happy living a thousand years. They'd be bored shitless, you know. <laughs> because you'd hear the same thing from other people. My wife just gave birth to a nice little girl. <laughs> that for thousands of years, you know. So I think that people will change in the future. They will redesign the human body, put an eye in the back of the head, and their genetic engineering, not the stuff you have today, but they'll make us more sensitive and and our brain will be made of tissue that can absorb certain things fast. You don't have to read a book four or five times. But we, if we don't engineer ourselves, we can't keep up with technology. If technology can handle, like I said, a thousand trillion bits per second, man will say, what do we have to do to keep up with it? And you have to redesign the human system. If they can only handle seven channels at once, that can't keep up with technology. In the future, technology will be assigned decision-making, then management, then environmental care. You know, it'll manage agriculture and everything else. It'll tell you what's best for you. You sit in front of a computer and say, what should I study? And then it'll ask you certain questions and evaluate your answers and tell you what to study, what's more appropriate for you. But people in the beginning say, I'm not going to listen to a machine. When you can't tell the difference, whether you're talking to a computer or a machine, then it means you've attained